Welcome back in Tech Dev Studio. And in this video, we are going to learn about how you can basically set up and create a C++ project by using Unreal Engine 5.2 and Visual Studio 2022. We are going to learn about these setups and I'm going to show you the two different type of way to create the Blueprint projects and the C++ project. One is we'll be do a core C++ project and second one we are going to do a Blueprint, we are going to first create a Blueprint project, then we will convert that to a C++ project. So we'll learn both of version that how you do in both method. The first thing we recommend the 5.2 and instead of that, you don't need any additional features such as like Unreal Engine source, editor symbols and debugging stuff. You don't need even those. The second thing you need that Visual Studio. You can use the Visual Studio installer first to install the Visual Studio and then you can go to install, go to available version and just add the Visual Studio 2022. Then at the installation section, you can go to basically modify if you already have. From there, you need to just choose the game rail pin with C++ and from here, you need to choose basically the MSVC and C++ profiling tool, Windows SDK and Android IDE supports, Windows 10 SDK and Unreal Engine installer and Android IDE software supported. Once you have this thing, you need to go to individual components. Make sure at here you have not net framework 4.62 and the net framework 4.72 targeted pack. Once you have this thing, you need to just call it and you need to go to MSVC. At the MSVC, you need to just install the x64, x68 build tool because this is must requirement for uh, Unreal Engine. And once you have, you are ready to rock and roll. Now you can basically close this thing and like that. So let's create a simple project. So let me click on launch. Once you press launch, it will be by default launched the Unreal Engine editor. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate the creating a full C++ project. And second, uh, second time, we are going to create a blueprint to C++ project. So we'll go to games and I'm going to choose a blank project. Instead of that, I'm going to choose basically a, you can say that a label simple, nothing else. So a blank project and I'm not including the started content pack. I'm going to choose the C++ project. I'm setting that targeted to desktop and quality to maximum. And let's give it name that CPP basic YT. And I'm simply click on create the project. So now it will be basically generating some SLN file, some source file and some public and private file for your project. So if you go to your, uh, you know, this location, why are you basically creating your project? Instead of that, you'll be find something like that, a SLN file that is your Visual Studio launching file. Then instead of that source, you find your targeted file and instead of that, whatever your, you'll be create the C++ file, you find all them at here, like in the public, uh, that is the header and the CPP file. Also at here, you find the binaries and BS file. So now, as you can see, it's now loading. Okay. Even it's stuck sometime because it's basically load up and boost up everything. So it will be initialized everything. And the first step I'm going to show that once you have the project, something like this, that you loaded everything in your monitor, you have the visual studio also even the first step, what you need to do, you need to create a level because by default, this is an open level and this is not a uh, acceptable level. So we are going to create uh, a simple uh, maps folder. And instead of that maps folder, uh, I'm so sorry. I just, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going, I can content maps. So simply click on levels and EX. I'm just giving it name EX. And instead of that, I'm going, going to, I'm not, I'm going to save that and go to edit project settings, go to maps and modes. And at here, I'm going to choose my map. And once I have this thing, you need to go to the, the window section. And at here, at the window section, you need to set the compiler version to 2020-22. And then go to basically edit slash edit preferences at here go to the source control make sure you choose that via uh, visual 2020 2022 now 
once you have something like this you can give a restart uh, even if you start share with a uh, visual studio uh, you don't find uh, lots of stuff but you find some procedural content generation framework uh, lots of stuff others but we are not going to use anything else so by the visual instruction are accessing the code so we don't need to include any type of that stuff at here okay we are ready to rock and roll now what you can do in our vs code here at the development you will be set that to development editor by default even it's basically shrink so it's not even possible to check that what is basically going on at the configuration manager by default you find that that is a win64 make sure at for your this case some of cases this show x64 and you can go to even here you find the win32 uh, because this is some configuration issue okay so if it's coming something like this you can leave it like that and simply click on build the solution at the build the solution if you find any zero fails at here or any fail number here so you need to fix that issue otherwise it will be never able to do okay now we already learned that how you need to create a c++ project okay now suppose in next day you open your unreal engine project but with this project this time your visual studio will be never open okay now for fix this issue now you have a question bro how will we get our visual studio where will be code so for you you need to press here that at the tools here you find the refresh visual studio project so from here you can basically refresh your visual studio project so i'm giving it name i'm just giving a refresh so it will basically compile and regenerate all the files but it will be never delete your already existing file so if you click on open the visual studio you will be see that your visual studio has been open okay so this is the way and even from here you can again choose the configuration as you can see now this time the win64 has been come so i'm choosing that win64 and close that and simply click on a build solution so as you can see zero fail zero update data and one escaped okay that's great now we already learned that how you need to basically create a full c++ core project and now let me show you the second method that lots of you asked me that bro uh if i create a simple uh, blueprint project so i'm creating a simple project uh, blueprint project so i'm just launching my unreal engine 5.2 okay so now at here i'm also going to choose same blank and i'm choosing the same digs and i'm giving them simply bp and i'm not choosing c++ i'm just selecting the blueprint so now it will basically open the uh a blueprint project now you have a question bro how you can basically generate that our blueprint project to a c++ project you need to do the same thing you can create a simple map and make sure you need to go to uh yeah the first thing make sure that you save that and once you save that entry at the maps and modes choose that your maps and modes and make sure at the windows choose the visual studio 202022 and again go to edit and preferences make sure that at the source code you have the visual studio 202022 once you have this thing now what you can do you can press these tools and here you can see it's not saying that generating the files you need to simply click on create a new c++ class you can create any none of class or any actor class for example i'm going to choose the a exam example class and click on next now here you don't need to specify the public or private just simply create that so you need to simply as you can see it's coming under pp so you need to simply click on create the class so what will be happen that it will be basically generate the all the needed and sources project as you can see it's saying that in giving you a warning that this project includes source please close the editor and build from ide okay so because it has been generated and all these files so now you need to basically open and you need to build first from your vs code and then you can able to basically work on this project so now you can basically close your unreal and at here as you can see we found a actor hs and cpp whatever for now you can ignore that you can go to build configuration make sure the win64 has come now once it's come you can give that build solution and it will become something like this once the build solution is done now you're ready to rock and roll but if it's uh but i recommend once you do that you can go to the projects and again go to show more option and generate the vs file again try to do it one time because i recommend okay uh, it's not necessary or mandatory but you can do okay so it's basically refresh all this stuff and then this is the last time you can you need to open the visual studio and once you open the visual studio make sure that is again in win64 
and but it, if it's not coming just don't worry simply click on compile and vs so it will be make and generate all the necessary file as you can see now it's generating the all the needed and the sources project uh, that is going to compile nan file for you so this is the method for uh, if you create a blueprint projects and then you want to convert that to a blueprint project okay that is the basically difference between the blueprint project and the c++ project by default in c++ it's more easy to handle and because by default it generate all the necessary stuff but whenever you create a blueprint project because that has been compiled for a blueprint now you want to use that c++ so you need to just do some config with process as you can see everything is now down we can skip that now you are able to double click and open the project and even you don't see that you need to compile the source from the build it will be never show you that error so make sure once you have this thing again go to edit project settings and check that everything is there or not like in win64 you have that or not so just give a refresh make sure you will close your visual studio then give a refresh of your visual studio code and then simply click on open the vs code so it will basically refresh the all the necessary file with unreal now you can go to configuration manager and choose here the win64 as you can see the win64 has been come now you can give a build so here we are ready to rock and load with our same the c++ project in this way you are basically able to create the c++ project in both versions so i show it you i show you the more uh more uh what's called uh sorry a uh, most uh, unique and most easiest and most useful two stuff that how you can basically convert but i also uh and in this video that is enough and you will be fine everything on this course related video on this our advanced c++ game development course so you can start from here so i hope you understand thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next lovely tutorial video